forgot about those. Barely any point of impact shift for short. <laughs> wow, if that were 15 shots just through the straight barrel, just through one configuration, I would be super happy with that group. But that's five shots with just the barrel five shots short configuration five shots long configuration all printed on top of each other that says a lot about the kg swarm it also says a lot about this brand new bfa bfesr i love them both hey thanks for tuning in to twang and bang that was definitely one of my longer introductions but i wanted to lead with what impressed me most about the kg made swarm 22 it's pretty special when you can print one group like that with five shots unsuppressed, <laughs> five shots suppressed in a short configuration, and five shots suppressed in a long configuration, all with the same point of aim. I don't have it here because it's still waiting at that range, which is my dealer, for my stamp to get back from the ATF. What's especially significant about that group is that the baffles inside of the Swarm 22 are not indexed and there's no order to them. You can stick them in a bag, shake it all up, and as long as you have the cones facing the right way, stick them all together in whatever order you want, screw the ends back on, throw it on a rifle like this, and you're gonna get groups just like that with the same minimal point of impact shift. And that's why the Swarm 22 is what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. The KG Made Swarm 22 is a two module rimfire silencer made entirely of titanium. What makes it unique even among the growing number of modular cans is its natural titanium finish. In fact, everything about the Swarm 22 allows cleaning using the harshest and most effective methods available. This might be what you need if you go the thousands of rounds before cleaning that the Swarm is designed to allow. The Swarm 22 is rated for 22 Magnum, 17 HMR, and is even full auto rated for 22 Long Rifle. Iraq Veteran 8888 used a Swarm 22 in a rimfire meltdown video that went 2,178 rounds full auto as fast as Eric could load with zero issues. This is what the baffles look like after a straightforward disassembly. A standard hex key is all that is needed to change from the 6.1 inch 4.5 ounce long configuration to the 4.5 inch 3 ounce K configuration. The end cap and last baffle are one piece which means you must remove one baffle from the short stack before reassembly. The short and smooth thread adapter mates with the tube with left hand threads to keep the Swarm 22 in one piece when you remove your can from a warm barrel. KG Made includes a tool to snug the adapter since there's no good way to grab onto it. Though with the Swarm's 3000 round recommended cleaning interval, you won't need to use this tool very often at all. When cleaning, the taper seal baffles simply push out of the grade 9 titanium tubes. The baffles have no indexing and no order, which makes assembly straightforward. Just stack the baffles and slide the tube over them, then add the end caps. I'll be testing the Swarm using CCI standard velocity and suppressor ammo through my Ruger 2245, 1022 takedown, and my Savage BFVSR. <laughs> I don't need these. Other people have been shooting. I don't need those anymore. I think they're done. Nice. Action is allowed to sing, as expected. Any rimfire can should be good like that. Yeah, actually that suppressor stuff is really nice. It's, it's definitely quieter, but the can's doing its job. Let's try it short. I suspect this is gonna be the same as the last time I shot a modular rimfire can on a 1022. I don't think I'm gonna hear a difference. And I don't. No difference from shooting long from my ear. I'm sure, I mean, there's nobody on the range now. <laughs> I got it to myself, but I'm sure it would, you'd notice it if you were not the shooter, but as a shooter, all the noise is coming from here and actually from the berm.
And that looks sharp. That's that looks like it was made for this gun. Yeah, man, short's the way to go. From the shooter's perspective, there's there's no reason to go along with this can. Sounds the same to me back here as a shooter as when it's in its long configuration. Fantastic. This is standard velocity out of my brand new B FVSR from Savage. Yeah, shooting the dirt. Nice. I love this gun too. And the sound of it hitting the berm, because it's so dry, it's so dry here. It's just, it's so loud compared to the gunshot. I think that looks fantastic. I love the fact that they don't finish it. It's raw titanium. Yeah, that's super nice. Still, it's, it's like you're, shooting in the rocks in this clay. It's almost like concrete. Maybe if I keep hitting the same spot, it'll soften up the berm. Now you don't have the ricochet risk. I'm not really shooting in the rocks. Okay, that sounds really nice. Yeah, it's still, the sound of it hitting the berm is louder than the gunshot by a lot. Oh yeah. I, from, from my perspective, there is no need for the long configuration on a bolt gun. Not with, this ammo, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, short is where it's at on a bolt gun, man. That was great. Now we're gonna give the suppressor ammo a try. Nice. I think I'm busting up the berm enough. <laughs> it's still the loudest part of this. It's the sound coming back to me from the berm, from hitting the berm. Nice. Yeah, I wouldn't run this in long configuration on a bolt gun. Short is all you need. With the two sections of that can and the silver look, it makes it look like a space gun. <laughs> this is CCI standard velocity. A little first round pop. But not bad at all. I mean, just, just a little bit. And what was weird is it was like, it was a deeper tone. That's not usual. It was a, it was a deeper tone to the first round pop, even though it was louder. Yeah, the, that ammo doesn't make as much difference in a pistol as it does in a rifle. Still sounded fine. <laughs> that still has a pretty good crack to it. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. CCI suppressor. Let's see if it makes a difference in the short can. Nope. 
still pretty loud. I don't think I heard a difference. <laughs> yeah, I think you can shoot it short configuration on the pistol, but I would, I would stick with long. I know a lot of viewers are going to be asking me, how does the Swarm 22 compare to other modular cans you've shot? I'll straight out say it is not my quietest can on my 2245, not by a long shot, but it's not my loudest can either. It's just, that's not its strength. On a rifle, I don't know if I could tell the difference long and short configuration from other modular cans. I, I just, I don't. Maybe, maybe you can, but I don't think I could tell the difference between it and other modular cans. But really, once you get to the higher end of rimfire cans, they're all going to sound really good on rifles with subsonic ammunition. Otherwise, they're not going to be at the higher end of rimfire cans. What's really significant, though, is that very, very limited point of impact shift with all three configurations, unsuppressed, suppressed short, suppressed long. I haven't seen any other silencer that can do that, not a modular can at least. That's really impressive and I think that speaks a lot for KG Made's machining quality because the baffles aren't indexed, you don't have to order them. You could switch the order around and you're gonna get pretty much the same thing. That's, that's pretty cool. The other thing that KG Made's Swarm 22 excels at is its 3,000 round cleaning interval. Of course, nobody likes cleaning silencers, but when it comes to rimfire silencers, it can actually be dangerous because cleaning methods that a lot of people like to use produce some pretty toxic stuff. So I think I'm going to be enjoying the fact that I can push that out much farther than I can with other rimfire cans. The last thing is I really do like the raw titanium aesthetic. I would never buy a can simply based on looks, but I know I'm not alone in really liking that look because I shoot silencers at that range all the time. I've never had people come up to me before and say they just want to look at the silencer that I was shooting, but they did with the Swarm 22. If you want to learn more about the KG Made Swarm 22, be sure to click the link in the video description below. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can see the links right here. Be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.